Hey guys, today we are at the home place in Pinson, Alabama, and we are going to take a look at an absolutely beautiful home and massive. It's raining, so we're going to go ahead and get out of the rain, and we're going to step up onto this porch, and I'm glad it has a porch because it is getting us out of the rain. And you've got two big, beautiful windows either side of the door. Let's go on in. And as we walk in, you're immediately met by this beautiful living room, fireplace, beams across the ceiling, complete with drywall. We're just going to pan across here and let you get a look at everything. And we'll start by turning to the left and going to the kitchen first. Now we're going to walk into the kitchen and we see this beautiful island right in the center. It's a massive island. I bet you could get probably five to six people uh, on bar stools right there down this island, possibly more. And then we see the sink as well as the windows overhead. And let's check, see if we've got the pull down faucets. And yes, we do. And they have these beautiful uh, Deer Valley homes always, or at least the ones we've seen, have these beautiful, uh, or beautiful cabinets and drawers that are really deep, about 20 inches deep. And they are always soft closed. That way you don't have slamming cabinets. You've got plenty of area for your dishes and all of your cups and glasses. And you have more storage on the other side of the island. Now your range is on the far right side. You'll see that over here. I personally kind of like having it divided up. It's a preference. And you have more cabinets on that side as well the large hood, your exhaust hood there, and you have your uh, oven, and I'm not sure what else that is down there. We'll look. So, okay, it's the oven and microwaver together in the cabinets here in the combo. One above the other, I like that as well. Saves space on the counter so you don't have a microwave sitting out. I really like that. And then just right off of this, you turn to go into the master bedroom. Now we're gonna show you that, but we're gonna show you that uh, last, so just bear with us. We're going to pan back around. You see the living area here, or the dining room area here, and uh, off right between the, the island and the dining room, you do have a pantry, and I forgot to show you that. And it's a big pantry also, uh, it's so much so that they have their own light in there as well. And they've got the upgraded shelving on this side. And if you wanted to, you could put shelving here as well. And then you've got shelving on this side as well and there's room to go up and down but i like that you have plenty of space that way you could stack drinks or, or whatnot there as well so we're going to close this up and then we're going to make our way back over and we're going to go back and check out all of the bedrooms and the laundry and we're going to come back around and i forgot to mention the uh, dishwasher is just to the right of the sink in this home you have another little living room area and you've got another they've got a little table set up here so if you are having a really big crowd this home is plenty big enough for it so we're gonna pan back around through the living room real quick and again if i didn't mention you do have that fireplace that looks like a gas burning fireplace i'm fairly certain it is and if you wanted to put the tv there you could or you could put it on the opposite wall i know some people don't like to put their tv over their fireplace and understandably so now this is a very long hallway. Unfortunately, the light is not on here and I, they don't have a bulb in there. So we're gonna walk down the hall and we're just gonna pan immediately to the left. The very first room you come to is the laundry. And it does double as a mud room. You've got a door that you can come in and out of right there. You've got the sink so that you can do any kind of uh, work that you need to do on stain removal, that sort of thing. And a ton, and I mean a ton of cabinets in here. You've got your place for your washer and dryer hookups right there already in. 
and even this room has crown molding around it and the heating and air is in the ceiling in this home throughout we're going to pan back around and let you look more at your mud room here and you see that door let's check this closet see what's in there uh, that is your hot water heater and man that is a big one and it is commercial grade hot water heater that thing stands about five foot tall so that is a massive no running out of hot water there all right and it looks like you've got another little nook now they've got something sit here and you could do that and that would be fine i think if it were me i would probably put a chest style freezer uh right there uh, you could uh, also probably put a refrigerator a second fridge if you felt like you needed it i guess there um, and then they've got the heating and air return to the left of it and your fuse panel for this home is here behind the door in your laundry let's go back out and go down and take a look at the guest bedrooms and bathrooms and we're going to continue on and we're going to go straight back down the hall here and we're going to ignore this crook to the right but we're going to pan into the first door to the left which is your guest bathroom and this guest bathroom is a lot bigger than what you see in in some of these uh, double wise mobile home modular homes and uh, so it's a lot more space in there i'm really kind of impressed with that and you've got your mirror your sink and your uh, vanity here and your toilet obviously and then you've got the wider bathtub it is a lot wider so if you like a lot of space or you're a bigger person uh, it will accommodate that and then the shower overhead and you do have can lighting this can lighting is not on but there is can lighting directly over the shower you have storage for your towels here right beside your shower so that's perfect so any kind of shampoo stuff like that you need to put away you've got a lot of space in here for that so we're going to pan back around and we'll come back out the door here we're going to go immediately back to the left the end of the hall and we are in the first guest bedroom that we're going to show today again drywall throughout it does have crown molding also standard size window it is carpeted in here in the in the bedroom i would imagine if you wanted to change that you could you contact the people here uh, and they could they could tell you all about that and we will put their contact information down below we don't work for them we are just touring a home here we're going to take a look inside this walk-in closet and this is a big 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 walk-in closet especially for a guest room and it has the upgraded uh, wooden shelves there as well now they are staging this home so there are items in there pay no attention to that so we're going to go we're going to go back out Again, we are at the home place here in Pinson, Alabama. And we're going to turn back to the left. And you have this other small hall right here where you can turn left, you can turn right. And we're going to go and see these other uh, two bedrooms. And we're going to call this bedroom number two. Go back to the left here. And we're going to pan back around. And there's two doors here. Um, so we'll check we'll check the one on the left first I bet it's a walk-in closet I haven't been through this home yet so yep absolutely this is another walk-in closet inside a guest bedroom upgraded shelving that's pretty cool pretty cool so this is bedroom number two here guest bedroom number two and let's see what's in there let's see what's in this door here could it be another closet I don't know no, it's a Jack and Jill style bathroom. Check this out. So I, and that door would go over to the other bedroom adjacent to it. All right, so you got your toilet here. Again, that wider uh, tub in here as well. And you've even got two sinks. So if you've got uh, teenage boys and uh, they could both get ready here at the same time for school. And there are sinks on either side if they needed to brush their teeth, whatnot and we'll come back around and through to that door okay so we're going to go back around to the hallway and we're going to step right across to guest bedroom number three we will pan across and this is a good room this is a good size room and the, all these guest bedrooms are i'm really surprised they've got so much space in this home this is a huge home really big you could put a queen bed in here no problem honestly you could get a king bed in here 
and we're going to check and see if this is a walk-in closet. I would think probably not. Maybe a younger kid. This would be a great for your younger kid. Or a little office too. And check that out right there. It does have the wood uh, shelves in it though. Upgraded shelves. And they got some of their stage and stuff in there. Carpet in here as well. And again, this goes this door is to the Jack and Jill on the other side, just to show you. So let's go back out and head back down towards the master bedroom. I know that's what you guys really want to see. That's what we always like to see, the master uh, bath and the master bedroom. So we're going to walk back down through here, coming back through the living room. Good little walk. So, and something else I like, the master's on one side of the house, the, all the kids' rooms or the guest bedrooms are on the other side. So this is a four-bedroom three bath house so we're going to step into the master here and before we step in be sure to hit like and subscribe on this video if you're finding value in it it really helps us out it doesn't cost you a thing but it helps get our videos out so more people can see them and we're just going to pan around here and like i say this is a regular size bed that might be a queen i don't know uh, so there's plenty of space you know, you got plenty of space over here for your uh, big screen TV if you want to put one in your bedroom there. We'll pan back across, let you see that. I like the way they've got this staged. You have your ceiling fan. You've got uh, two heating and air vents in here. You do have a smoke detector in here. It's very important, as we've mentioned in some of our other videos. And now we're going to pan back over. We're going to go into the master bath and uh, be sure to hit subscribe if you haven't already. Again, free to do doesn't cost you a thing hit that bell icon that way you don't miss another home tour so as we come into the bathroom we're just going to push this door open a little more so you can see everything you can see where you can go into the shower we do have a big tub here to the right but we're going to pan to the left a little bit and let you take a look at the sink you've got two sinks in here as well plenty of storage underneath and again those are those really deep uh, drawers that you see with uh, the Deer Valley stuff mirrors overhead, and plenty of lighting. Now we're gonna pan back around. We'll show you the walk-in closet here in a second, but we're gonna take a look at this big tub. And uh, you can easily fit, uh, we put Brandon in one of these tubs in one of our other videos. I'll try to put a card up in the top if you wanna see that. Brandon's 6'2", and he fits in there just fine. And he pointed out that you do have these armrests so that you can put your arms down below the water level. So you, you don't have to stick them out and rest them on the top of the tub. I like that, and he does too. So we're going to walk into the shower here. And again, you've got the bench seat, and it is a very big bench seat. So ladies, you can shave your legs right there and don't have to stand up to do it. Guys, too, if you like to do that, I mean, hey, man, it's on you. If, you like, if that's your thing, that's your thing. So we've got the multiple controls for the uh, hot and cold water here with the shower rain head overhead and so it's plenty of room here for two three four people if you want to put four people in here i'm not sure why you but you know that's you do you you do you so we're going to walk over in here and we're going to take a look at the water closet real quick or is brandon's wife miranda says the potty closet and this is a bigger potty closet than most people uh, have in some of the other homes that we have toured. It, uh, it's it's uh, probably double the size of most of the others. And it does have a light in there, the bulb's out, so I can't show you overhead, but it has an exhaust fan also. Now we're gonna turn into the master closet here, and this master closet's pretty good size. I can't zoom out enough to really give you a look at how big this actually is, but it goes way up. So there's plenty of shelving. And again, this is the upgraded shelving. It does have a light in here. I'm just gonna pan around and let you see the far side over there. And, and you know, you've got about six foot on the right side of the door, and I'd say probably about five to six foot on the, on the left. So, and again, your light switch is right here as you come in the closet. So now let's go out and take a look. And... <laughs> hey, there's Brandon. 
I was like, huh? I just found an awesome home, man. Did you? Oh yeah. He okay. Well, a second. All right. As soon as they see the price, we're gonna put that in oh. the card, and then they can just click oh, and go man. there to it. I was just talking about Brandon, and there he shows up. Well, I gotta tell you, it's gonna be an awesome home, man. I can't wait to show you this one over here in a second. Oh yeah. All right. So, and there's the floor plan, and so wow, they've marked this thing down several times. So I'm gonna show you what it was, and then was again, and then marked down again. So. It started at 292. This is the Deer Valley, what is that, Etienne? Is that French? Sounds close enough to me. Okay, you French speak, speaking people, is that <laughs> Etienne? Uh, you know, we're Southern, we can't help it. Etienne? Uh, it was 292. <laughs> now, and then it went down to 275, but no, wait, there's more. <laughs> it gets now slashed again, it's $250,000. And this is the Deer Valley Etienne is what we're going to call it. So this is uh, price is at the time of filming. It is a 32 by 90 with 2,580 square feet, four bedroom, three bath. God, that's a lot of square foot. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Absolutely. So we're going over now to see what Brandon has found. Follow us over there. You don't want to miss this, guys. Yo. This is awesome. All right, guys. We'll see you in the next video.